You might be in a season of great loss. You might be in a season where it's just, man, the bottom has dropped out and life is really, really hard. Into that, I want to say, yes, it is. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Essential Presents. It was finals week for us up here at the University of Minnesota Duluth. And uh, for me, it had been this season of, of, of a lot of stuff. It had been a really, I guess I would say maybe a difficult season. And for our students too, talking with them about their projects and papers and, and, and exams, all these things happening. It was really kind of tough. It had been one of those situations where the whole semester was kind of piled on, but the last maybe three weeks, it was like deadline after deadline. It was project after project. It was meeting after meeting. And I got to this point where, and I'm not trying to complain about this. Actually, that's the point, is I got to one night and it was, okay, another deadline. I have to sit down and do this thing. And I sat down to do the thing. And I was just, I was, I was pretty exhausted, right? I was pretty beat. And at one point I noticed myself getting like resentful, right? You know, I don't know if you've ever had this situation happen where you have so much stuff to do. Maybe if you're a mom or a dad and you're like constantly, there's always someone constantly at the door, under the door. <laughs> there's someone constantly pulling on your, on whatever, whatever the thing is. There's someone who constantly needs something from you. Maybe if you're a single person, you have so much work to do. Maybe you've experienced this. It seems like it's more and more and more. It's always something. It's always something. So that was the kind of the moment and you get really tired of it, right? You start to resent the people asking for help, start, res start resenting even the project that was like, no, this is actually a good thing. I had to pause because I realized that I was kind of getting all, uh, I, was, I, was, I was becoming emotional over something that didn't require my emotion, right? I was becoming upset over something that shouldn't upset me. I mean, I imagine a lot like you as a, as a husband or wife, as a mom or a dad. If you're realizing, wait, wait, these are my kids just being kids. That's okay. This is my spouse just being my spouse. That's okay. Why am I being upset with them for being themselves or your work? It's like, no, this is just what work is. And I figured it out. So I was sitting there and I was like, man, this is really, really hard. And then it was this, I had this insight. I was like, oh, this is hard. The problem is not that it was hard because that's life, right? Life is, is difficult. We know this. We know this is the case. It is difficult to be single. It's difficult to be married. It's difficult to be a, a parent. It's difficult to, to be in your vocation. It's difficult to not be in your vocation. We, we realize life is difficult. The insight that I, I think is from the Lord because I brought this to prayer. The insight was, okay, this is difficult. And like, oh, I'm making it harder on myself because I just want it to be easier. Like that, that was the insight. And I, remember, I realized once I acknowledged that, I brought that actually to the Lord again. Once I brought that to the Lord, I was like, oh my gosh, God, that's it. Because I know this is hard. Like I know this is difficult. And that's not usually a problem. The problem is I'm so tired that I just wish it were easier. And the truth is, it's not. There's good days and bad days. We know we all have this. There's times, seasons that are really difficult and seasons that are not so difficult. But I can't wait for those not difficult seasons to come around. I can't wait for life to get easy in order to engage with it. In fact, I could spend so much energy, and that's what the problem was. I realized I was spending so much of my energy not just doing the hard thing, but doing the hard thing while wishing it was easier. Does that make sense? And this is not some kind of like, you know, David Goggins, like, just get out there and, you know, got to crush life. Like, I don't mean that. I mean, man, sometimes we are weak. Sometimes life is too much for us. And sometimes it's not just your vocation. Sometimes it's not just the task you have to do. Sometimes it's not just a project or a program or whatever it is, a task. Sometimes it's a season of great suffering. And I'm going to invite you to do something that I needed to invite myself to do. And that is when life is difficult, don't make it even more difficult by simply wishing that we're, it were easier. When life is difficult, to acknowledge, yep, this is not easy. And I can't wait for easy. In fact, there was this uh, women's basketball coach at, at Duke and she, she talked about this. She said, so much of our lives, we're waiting for easy. She was giving a talk to her athletes and she said, you know, so often you're like, oh, after this freshman year, then it'll be easy. Or after my whatever year, it'll be easy. When I get my degree, it'll be easy. When I get my vocation, then it'll be easy. And she reminded her athletes of this thing that was this insight that, you know, painfully came to me. And that insight is you can't wait for life to get easy because life doesn't get easy. You just get stronger. And this is, this is the great thing about grace. You know, this is not a stoic philosophy thing. This is not a situation where I'm saying, so you guys get out there and work really, really hard. You can do it on your own. You can't. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. 
apart from me, you can do nothing. I can't, I can't face the difficulties of life. I can't even face the ease of life on my own. We need Jesus and the grace that comes to us by the power of the Holy Spirit working through the church. Because life is difficult, but at the same time, God is in it. Like, you know, the fact, the reality is every one of us, every single day, even on good days, we have a cross that we are invited to carry and follow after Jesus. But we don't carry that cross alone. Life is difficult. Don't make it even more difficult by wishing it were easier. Instead, instead be able to say, okay, God, life is difficult. And he says, I know I'm here. Realize this right now. Realize this right now that when we realize, acknowledge, are willing to acknowledge the truth, God, this is difficult. I wish it were easier. And also I know that you are here. Without you, I can do nothing, Jesus. But you're not without him. This is the truth. Life is difficult. I wish it were easier. But Jesus is with you. And you are not alone. So stop wishing it were easier. Stop waiting for life to get easy. It doesn't. It won't be. Life is difficult. But you are not alone. God loves you. And in your difficulty, he can take everything you have, even your weakness, he can take everything you have, even the stuff that crushes your heart and crushes your your soul. And he can use it to make you more like him, to make me more like him. But not if we keep resenting. Not if we keep wishing it were otherwise. Not if we keep wishing it were easier. We just, in in the midst of our difficulty, in the midst of life that becomes hard, we say, God, I can't, you can, be with me now. And he is. Anyways, for all of us here to present, my name is Father Mike. God bless.